enjoy trying to figure out what makes people tick. It shows me more about the scope of what it means to be human, and the things that are automatic human reflexes and instincts. It allows me to accept the humanity of more people. It also makes it easier for me to accept certain traits within myself, particularly when I see that a number of other people have these same traits and they somehow make it work without hurting anyone. Well, lately, this has been much harder to do, and I don't seem to get much enjoyment out of it anymore. Politically, the heat is high, higher than it's ever been. Well, at least in my lifetime, anyway. And I've never had a harder time empathizing with people as much as I do the current Trump cultists. I seriously can't really wrap my mind around it. I mean, before the 6th of January, I could at least kind of understand it. I could at least empathize a little bit. But since January 6th, total support of Trump? I can't understand it at all at this point. I can't understand how people just throw away all their principles because, you know, they really like this guy and they want to install him because they feel that the election wasn't, uh, wasn't legitimate. I mean, even when the Democrats first started pushing the whole Russia, Russia, Russia thing, even then, um, it wasn't this push to, oh, well, let's bypass the election and just install Hillary. When was that anywhere in the, in the picture? You know, and, and just 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 p imagine this a different way. I, imagine if if the uh, the Democrats had gotten uh, Hillary in office, and then there is a following election where that you know all all data points to Hillary losing, and the Democrats were doing what what the Republicans or some of the Republicans are doing now. Like, can you imagine people? standing up for Hillary that much? People wanting to bypass this election because, oh, they feel that Hillary won. Look, you know, I understand what it is to sort of be in the Trump cult. There was, it was only for a few days, but uh, yeah, there was a period where I kind of bought into the whole thing for, for you know, less than a week. But it pretty much consisted of this notion of thinking it's okay to to just constantly punch down. You know, it was almost a celebration of punching down. It was the celebration of the traditionally powerful and strong taking down the traditionally weak, whether figuratively or literally. It was the attitude of, nothing I say can make you feel anything. It was a bully's philosophy on interactions. It was so many ugly things, and somehow, for a few days, I was okay with that. I was on board with that. I'm really, really disappointed in myself over that. I look back at that and cringe. To watch this cult persist and continue to hold people, continues to keep people in that kind of mindset, to watch this cult do those things to this many people at this juncture, is downright terrifying. And I don't know anything I can say or do to get people out of it. I've... I've given up. Nothing I say is going to reach any of you who are, who are in that mindset. You're the same ones who would claim that when there's a huge YouTuber who makes videos, you know, it's all about making fun of people, right? Um usually in a punching down sort of way, to people who have fewer than, like even fewer than 30 subscribers, there's just someone out there, hey, I'm, I just want to say something, you know, I mean, if they're wrong, I mean, so what, it's, it's just someone who, who's barely been on here, they're just trying to get on camera or whatever, and you, and you come in, you're a huge YouTuber, you come in, make fun of them, and then don't expect the people who watch your shit to go in and harass her. You know the mindset of the people that follow you. You know what they're like. Trump knows what the people who follow him like a cult are like. 
You want to deny every single bit of dog whistling that Trump does. No, no, that's not a dog whistle. Oh, no, 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 not Trump. No, Trump. Trump really cares. Trump. No, 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 no. Trump cares. Trump so much cares. Trump cares. Trump is a real patriot. Trump is an American. Trump cares about the people. Do you realize how some of you look? No, you don't. And unless Trump is, you know, unless Trump is unable to run again, you know, until it's at that point where you can't have this strange fantasy that you that you seem to have about him, until that's the case, yeah, this this crazed mindset is going to continue. Now there were the there were a couple of videos that I that I had I had made that I had talked about, you know, whether I think it's necessary to impeach Trump again. And uh, at first I was skeptical. And then some people brought some enough things up. I'm just like, you know, that's that's enough points that uh, this th- this whole Trump cult isn't going to calm down much until it can be shown that Trump can't run for office again. Until we know that you know that Trump is a loser and is and it is a terrible person, or at least isn't the the person that you have propped him up to be. I mean, anyone who who says, even the phrase, oh, he's just playing 4D chess, man, you lose so much credibility with that shit. Okay? I'm not one of the people who tries to claim that Trump is stupid. Oh, he's just an idiot. He's stupid. No, no, he's not stupid. He isn't a traditional president at all in any way. And I think that's one of the biggest components to why there's some people who just practically worship him. They're like, oh, finally, someone who doesn't continue to to constantly go with the bureaucracy of everything. You know, so so that goes into it as well. I mean, I mean, no matter whether or not the impeachment goes through and, and there's a conviction you know, I do have just hopes that once Trump is no longer in office for a long enough of a period of time, that some people will come around and knock things over on the table. Will come around and realize, oh shit, what was I supporting? What was I doing? I mean, it should be terrifying anyone with a functioning brain who, who is social in any way to hear that people are suddenly totally okay with some of the worst of human behavior. Oh, well, as long as you're blunt about it, it's fine. And here's what's weird, too, about it. It's just like, oh, well, as, as long as it's he's different than what, what we've had, um, that makes it good. And it's just like, well, he's pushing his whole, his whole campaign was under to make things the way they were in the past. So how does that mesh with this whole, oh, oh, he, he's, he's not a, a politician, so he's going to do things so much differently than, than others. And, and we, we want something different. Make up your mind. Do you want something different or do you want people to uh, regress? Do you want regression or do you want something different? I mean, you make your fucking choice. Be fucking consistent. But you, you won't see that inconsistency. Nor even after seeing this video, neither nor will some of you care. You've you've went you've fallen for a cult of personality. No, he's he's not uh, politically correct at all. You're right, he's not. He's so politically incorrect that he's a jackass. He's an asshole, and he's able to hide it under the guise. Well, I'm just not politically correct. Of course, I can't do Trump. I I just can't say that I that uh. No, that sounded more like Ronald Reagan than than Trump. I can't do Trump's voice at all. <laughs> you know, and and as time goes on, you know, I'll I'll be able to forgive people, especially if they ask for forgiveness. Yeah, yeah, definitely, I'll I'll forgive you for for supporting and standing for things that. Uh, 
you would have been against before Trump was uh, president. You know, you, you, or before he even started a campaign, you know, things you would have spoken against, you suddenly are for. Just in order to support, you know, just, just all the things that, that go against your principles or the principles you claim to have, going against most of it, just so you can support this person who's going to do something different by making us regress. Well, I mean, I suppose regression is different, right? But, you know, I'll be able to forgive people for this stuff. But I will never forget. I will never forget what so many people staunchly supported. Statements that they would make excuses for. Attitudes towards different demographics that, you know, people made excuses for. What you were willing to support and at what cost. I certainly don't believe in creating lists. But it will probably be a while before I'm able to ever fully trust the people who staunchly supported Trump and everything that he did and said. You know, to the very end of his presidency and beyond, through everything that he did and represented. But, but, but he really meant this and, and he really meant this. Oh, he's such a great president. No, you're just, you're just biased because of media. No, no, he's, he's great. That's the kind of shit that I'm going to be so happy to not have to experience anymore. You know, most people, I think, who maybe voted for Trump but weren't a big fan of Trump are not going to go around defending him, you know, once he's no longer president. I, I don't think they're going to defend him. It, it'll probably be maybe even as little as six months, and those people are going to be like, you know, I, I voted for him, but uh, I sure didn't like him. Now, if Biden does a terrible no enough of a job, you know, then maybe the things that I've just said, maybe I'll be eating my words. And that could be the case. You know, there is a chance that Biden might really be truly awful. There is the chance that, that some of the conspiracy theories there could be a chance that some things within them could have some merit to them. But I certainly don't think Biden is just going to flat out sell out America to China. I just don't think so. The way it is right now, though, every time I see someone not wearing a mask properly when I go to the grocery store, like, they'll have it, like, barely covering... It's supposed to be above their nose, but they'll barely have it covering even the, uh, the top of their mouth. Oh, well, you know, I have a mask on. It's, it's the bare minimum, you know, whatever, you know, and they've got to prove it, right? Or maybe they're not even wearing a mask at all and they're in, in you know, an indoor public place. Yeah, I automatically assume that it's a Trump supporter. And, and here's something that a Trump supporter might say next. But, but Trump uh, didn't say not to wear a mask. See, that's, that's how they react. And I'm like, um, Trump makes fun of people for wearing masks. Did you forget that? Did you not see that? Hello. Knock, 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 knock. Hello. Don't tell me that Trump didn't say anything negative about wearing masks. Let's not even go there. That's part of this Trump cultist's mentality. Words don't mean anything. You know, nothing I say can make you do anything. No amount of power that someone has makes anything that you say any different than if you had no power at all. You know, that kind of crazy, fucked up, stupid mindset. I mean, if you... It, I'm sorry, just, just that, that whole thing. That whole thing. Like I said earlier, it, it's, it's right with how on YouTube there'd be people that have huge channels making fun of someone who had a video that they had less than 30 subscribers, acting like, uh, no, no, I, I didn't tell anyone to do anything. It's not, it's not my fault that that happened. It's just like, yeah, you, it is. It is your fault that that's happening. Oh, they, they shouldn't have put out such a stupid video. And you're just like, 
they've got like they've they they're 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 literally a nobody on the platform. They're not they have no influence on anything. But you'd you'd leave a link to their video too? I mean, the whole way that you could get out of actually bringing that person up is to say, hey, you know what? I saw somewhere someone say these things, and I thought it was ridiculous. You don't have to show them. You don't have to show clips of them. You know, if there are nobody and the things that they've said are stupid and you're a huge channel, you should know what, you know, what the effects of your words have. I know I'm going back to that again, and I already explained it earlier, but part of the Trump cult is to basically claim that, no, no, uh, nothing I say can make you feel anything. It's, it's that, that entire mindset. It, that comes with, with the Trump cult. You turn off your humanity in order to just practically praise this fucking person, no matter what he does. You'll defend anything he says or does. You'll make excuses for anything he says or does. So this is what goes through my mind whenever, like I said, I, I see someone at a grocery store, they're purposely going out of their way to not wear a mask, right? I, I, can't, I can't think of anything else. I mean, if someone's that stupid that they don't understand that you actually need to wear it over, you know, over your nose, the point is to not have your breath, the liquid molecules, uh, going through the air as much. You know, but maybe some people don't understand. I mean, I think about that that clip of someone who cut the front of their mask out. Oh, well, it's easier to breathe that way. And just, like, oh, oh, there are people that are that stupid, so. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I, I'll always assume when I see something that stupid, I'll think, oh, must be a Trump supporter. You know, every time I see a MAGA hat or a sticker... You know, from, from from now on, after everything that's happened, I think to myself, yeah, well, this person isn't firing on all cylinders. They're, they're not dealing with a full deck of cards. They've drunk the Kool-Aid. There's no point in having any sort of interactions with this person. I mean, why would I want a discussion with them? They'll probably just call me a, a commie fascist or something like that. Um, if we actually uh, talked about anything, you know, because I believe in things like, you know, socialized uh, health care. Well, oh, that must make me a socialist. I, I must be a commie. And uh, I care about feelings. So that makes me a bad person. I, I just think about all of the things that went through my head and the way that I operated for those few days that I was in the Trump cult, and I just have to reflect on that and go, yeah, this is sick. This is sick. This is a sickness. A a. This is a horrible stain on America. The Trump cultist mentality is a stain on this country. Stain. Stain Barbara. Stains her booty. Every time I see a thin blue line flag or sticker or something on that order or the phrase, uh, blue lives matter, I think to myself, well, this person doesn't really care about police brutality. In fact, because of what happened on the 6th, it is this that I'll probably always have associated with it. It will be a long time, possibly years, before I think of any of these people in a positive light, sure, I'll forgive them for being in a cult, and I'll completely, completely forgive them if they ask for forgiveness. Hey, I'm sorry for what I supported. I, I, I feel awful that I, that I supported these things, that I supported this type of mentality. Cool. Then I, I you know, as far as that goes, yeah, I mean... Sure, yeah, and I'll probably be able to trust them again. But if they haven't done that, then yeah, it, it, it might take a while. It'll eventually happen. But nevertheless, I don't want to put them on some sort of a list. I don't think people should be persecuted 
over it. I don't think we should go out of our way to treat people like shit over it. Okay, that's acting no better than... Yeah, it's the behavior that you say you don't like. Yeah, so, so don't do that. But no, I, I'm against these whole, these lists of people that we should like. I mean, it's, it's essentially saying that companies should have the full right to, and supporting this notion that companies should have the full right to discriminate against, uh, you know, employees or potential employees or housing or any of that based on someone's political beliefs. And I, I can't support that. There's no way. Don't like one of the people who's running for office? Vote against them. Try to get everyone else to vote against them. But to just want to utterly destroy people's lives because they, they had a particular political view or they were part of a cult? You can't... I'm sorry, but to me, you can't blame the people who are part of the cult. You blame the cult itself. You blame the person at the top of the cult. You don't blame the people following it. They don't know any better. And look how we, we put Hollywood on a pedestal so much. Look how much we put reality TV up on a pedestal. I mean, what, what is it? Here Comes Honey Boo Boo or whatever that... I mean, the fact that that was a popular show... Yeah, it's, it's no wonder why when there's someone who's part of that kind of culture that we prop up for some reason so much that they could become a cult figure pretty easily. You know, we, we now know that uh, it's probably a bad idea to allow something like that to happen again. You know, but as much as I think that we shouldn't treat people like crap because of their beliefs or what they support or might have supported before, I will never forget what people supported. I'll never forget it. If you think that makes me bigoted, then go right on and believe that. I have values, morals, and ethics. Do you? When the only values that seem to matter to you are Donald Trump and poning the libs? Why should I think of you in a positive manner? Why, why should I think of that mindset in a positive light? Because it's anti-PC culture? So that just makes it good, like by default, because you're, you're so against people being over the top in trying not to offend people, which, I mean, the PC culture is a problem. Trying to force everyone to just making everyone just worried, constantly worried that something they're they're saying could offend someone. Yeah, that's messed up. But there's also on the other side, you if if your your entire intent is to go out of your way to make people feel like crap, that's certainly nothing to put up on some pedestal either. You know, there's a kind of a happy medium there. You know, but. I know what it was like to be in that cult. It was only for a few days, as I said, but uh, I, I, I was on board. And that's something that I'm probably always going to hang my head in shame over. Anyway, thanks for watching.